Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is Transformers Generation Selects, Earthrise, Shattered Glass, Optimus Prime, and Ratchet. Now this is one set that I had no intention of picking up whatsoever, but damn my YouTube friends and their peer pressure. So taking a quick look at the packaging, this is your basic Generation Selects box. Cardboard box, spray painted Autobot logo, Transformers. War for Cybertron Trilogy, and that's pretty much it. And then you got the sticker right here on the side saying what's inside. And what is inside? Opening the box up, you've got Earthrise, Optimus Prime, and Ratchet in their shattered glass coloring, which, in case you didn't know, shattered glass is an alternate universe storyline where the Autobots are the bad guys and the Decepticons are the good guys. These are actually my very first Shattered Glass figures, so I'm excited to take them out of the box and check them out. So without any further ado, let's do that. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Prime and Ratchet all opened up and out of their packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and very easy to follow. And boy, does this open up into a poster. This thing is huge. Of course, it's got the instructions for both figures on the same paper. You also get Prime's Ion Blaster, Ratchet's Shield and Vehicle Roof, Ratchet's light bar. I'm not sure why they had that separate, but all you do is you've got these two slots right here on top of the roof and two pegs right here. Match those up. And now the light bar is installed. No biggie. And you also have Ratchet's weapon. So both of these figures are actually repaints of existing molds. Prime, of course, is a repaint of Earthrise Optimus Prime, and Ratchet is a repaint of Earthrise Ratchet. Both figures I've went over before. So this video is going to be more of a comparison than actual review. So let's get started with Optimus Prime first. The paint scheme for this Shattered Glass Optimus Prime absolutely pops. As soon as I opened it up, as soon as I opened up the packaging, I was like, wow! Check this guy out. The purple, the gray, the navy, and this slime green coloring that they use for the windshields, crest, and hips just make this guy look utterly amazing and makes him really stand out to the other Optimus Prime figures that you would have on your shelf. And check out the paint applications there on the eyes. That looks great. A deep, evil red and Love the shattered glass right there on the windshield. That looks so cool. And that is a paint application. That is not a decal. I mean, this guy looks fantastic. Now, his weapon is a light gray opposed to the black and silver that we've seen before. And, of course, he can put that in his hand like so. And then you have shattered glass Optimus Prime 
all armed and ready for battle. Now, of course, we've seen this mold before with Earthrise Optimus Prime and the Alternate Universe Dead Optimus Prime. Now, keep in mind, both my Alternate Universe and Earthrise Optimus Prime have been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, but you can still see a difference in the coloring. Now, another thing that these characters have is they have the Matrix of Leadership with them. Let me get Shattered Glass Primes opened, get Alternate Universe, and Earthrise, so you can see their matrixes of leadership. Now the alternate universe and Earthrise Optimus Prime have the exact same matrix. It's the silver gold. Let me get it out. Silver gold with the dark blue crystal on the inside. Now the shattered glass Optimus Prime, he has a clear yellow matrix, which I hate clear plastic, so that's, that's a little different with a yellow crystal. So there is, there's your two matrixes. So that's pretty much it for the figure. Let's take a look at them in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime looks just as good as he did in robot mode. The color scheme just works so well for this figure. The cab now is primarily purple with a gray stripe. You've got those lime green windows right there up front. Now got the silver grill and bumper, translucent lime green lights, and just a fantastic looking figure. I can't get over how much I like this guy, though he does lack a few details that hopefully Toy Hacks can fix, just like they did with the other versions of this mold. And speaking of those other versions, here is Shattered Glass Optimus Prime with Earthrise Optimus Prime and Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. Great looking vehicle modes. I can't complain one bit. These guys look awesome together. Now, as you've noticed, the Shattered Glass Optimus Prime does not come with a trailer. So to satisfy all of our curiosity, let's take a look at Shattered Glass Optimus Prime with Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer. Eh, looks all right, but the blue and the gray just really contrast against the cab. Here he is with Alternate Universe Optimus Prime's trailer that, of course, is Toy Hexed Enhanced, but that looks a little bit better. And just because, here he is with Netflix Nemesis Prime's trailer. This is the best looking one of the bunch. Now, one thing I did forget to show off was weapon storage. You can take his blaster right here, fold it in half, and you can store it right here behind the cab, like so, or you can store it right there. It's your choice, just like the other Optimus Prime molds. So all in all, a great looking robot mode and a great looking vehicle mode. So there you go, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. Now, just like the Optimus Prime figure, this Ratchet's collar scheme looks great. I love the aqua green and the dark purple. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got a great purple crest and another great use of those red beady eyes. They've done a great job with the paint applications for the eyes on these evil Autobots. It's got the aqua green on the windshield, the forearms right there on the waist, and the upper legs. I hate the translucent chest, though it does look a little better than the other Earthrise Ratchet because of the darker collar. But still, I hate being able to look through the chest of my figures and just seeing a big empty cavity. Now, Ratchet also comes with his shield slash blaster with a great dark purple Autobot logo right there. So we can attach that to his shoulder like so. And he has his little blaster. Now this one is actually painted silver opposed to the original that was just plain white. So we'll give that to Ratchet right there. So now we have Ratchet all armed and ready for battle. And as I said earlier, he is nothing but a repaint of the Amazon exclusive Ratchet who in turn was a repaint of the Amazon exclusive Ratchet, though with a different head sculpt. 
And as you can see, the color scheme really makes this ratchet really stand out. So now let's take a look at him in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, ratchet looks okay. I'm not the biggest fan of this vehicle mode, whether it be shattered glass ratchet, earthrise ratchet, or earthrise ironhide. I just think this vehicle mode has way too many panels and gaps, not to mention there's too much that's unpainted and the feet hanging off the back, it just sticks out like, well, a sore foot, especially with shattered glass ratchet because his feet are that aqua green, at least with Earthrise ratchet, they were white and blended in a little bit, but still it's not bad for what it is. I wish this section right here was painted white instead of the aqua green. And then of course you got the clear windshield where you can look right through and see Ratchet's head. Now you can take his weapon and you can mount the weapon right there on top of the vehicle or mount it on top of the light bar like so. Or another option like seen right here in Earthrise Ratchet, you can actually mount it if I can get this off. One thing about these roof sections, they, they peg in really, really good. Good Lord. There's actually four pegs that go into four holes that really secure the roof. But as I was getting to, you can put the weapon inside the roof just like so for weapon storage. So now let's take another look at Shattered Glass Ratchet's vehicle mode with Earthrise Ratchet and Earthrise Ironhide. So see right here, they painted the hinge on Earthrise Ratchet, opposed to what they did here, yet they didn't paint the hinge on Earthrise Ironhide. So very, very similar vehicles. The only difference, of course, is the color scheme. And I owe you guys an apology. I thought I have reviewed Earthrise Ratchet. I've only reviewed Earthrise Ironhide. But still, the transformations are exactly the same. The major difference, of course, is the coloring and the light bar. And of course, if you look on Earthrise Ratchet here, you could take the light bar off either one of these two and attach it to Ironhide. So now he's a fire van. So all in all, vehicle mode is okay, but really could use some work. So hopefully Toy Hacks will come up with something to help fix up all of these Earthrise van modes because he definitely needs something. So there you go, guys. Shattered Glass Ratchet. The Transformers Generation Selects Earthrise Shattered Glass Optimus Prime and Ratchet is a great set of figures. Granted, they're only repaints, but my God, do the collars work. I am so happy that I got talked into getting these two because I couldn't be happier, and I think they're going to look great on my shelf. So there you go, guys. Transformers Generation Selects Shattered Glass, Optimus Prime, and Ratchet. So, does the Transformers Generation Selects Earthrise Shattered Glass Optimus Prime and Ratchet belong in your collection? Well, that depends. Are you a fan of the alternate realities where the good guys are now the bad guys? If so, pick this set up. I think you're going to be really happy with it. I, for one, am thrilled and I can't believe I was going to pass this up. Yes, they're just repaints, but they are great repaints. More so Optimus Prime than Ratchet. I wish we got a Shattered Glass Megatron instead of Ratchet, but oh well, it is what it is. And I can't believe I've never got a Shattered Glass figure up until now because I'm a huge fan of those alternate realities like evil Superman and storylines like that. So I can't believe I've never grabbed figures from this line before. And I love him. I think he's awesome. These guys are look, going to look great on the shelf back there. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!